does. But interestingly we know less about why cats make this noise compared with other noises. They're famous for like hissing or chirping. The reality is that purring has many different meanings. Cats often purr when they're feeling relaxed. But they may also purr to self-soothe if they are feeling stressed or are injured. Says Joanna Pendergrass, DVM, a veterinarian based in Atlanta. When kittens are born, mama cats purr creating a vibration to guide kittens to mom's nipple to nurse. Number two, showing its belly. Here's an all too familiar scenario. Your sweet Max stretches out and shows off his fuzzy belly, which makes you want to reach out and give him a little pat or affectionate scritch. When cats expose their bellies to us, they are saying they trust us. But when we take them up on this offer by rubbing their bellies, they may attract it with a bite or a scratch as it was only meant as a form of communication, explained Sam Mysela, DVM, a veterinarian and founder of Petwell Clinic. If you establish even more trust, you may be able to go in for the pets without reprimand. But be gentle and keep in mind this is a physical expression of trust more than it is an invitation. You may not recognize these subtle ways that your cat is showing affection. Number three, wagging its tail. When a cat wags its tail, it's not the same joyful response you get with a happy dog wag. In fact, it may mean the opposite. A cat tail wag can be more of a warning, notes Evelyn Cass, DVM, a veterinarian with pet nutrition doctor. The tail wag is a sign of heightened excitement, annoyance or frustration. The thrashing tail generally means, stop what you are doing or I am going to get angry and might bite you. She adds that when the tip of the tail is wagging, it is often a sign your cat is ready to pounce on their favorite toy, or perhaps on your leg. Number four, napping. You might have noticed that your cat loves napping and seemingly sleeps all the time, generally. This trait has developed as an evolutionary advantage so that they can conserve energy for a hunting, of course. The domestic cat does not need to hunt. However, the genetics are still there, explains Dr. Mysela, and they do like to sleep in warm areas. Keep in mind that a cat's basal temperature is higher than ours by at least a couple of degrees. That helps explains why they like to soak up the sun or sleep on warm surfaces, like your laptop. Number five, chirping in addition to pairing and meowing. Another common cat noise is chirping. You might find your cat chirping as it stares out the window from the perch at a bird. Or when it greets a fellow feline, a cat's chirp tends to mean one of two things. Its hunting instincts are activated as it spies a bird, bug, mouse or toy. Likely this type of chirping is accompanied by its tail twitching back and forth and dilated pupils. Or a cat may also chirp when it's excited to see someone, be it a fellow cat, or you. Figure out why. Your cat stares at you. Number six, rising early. In addition to being active at dusk, cats are also known for getting the zoomies at dawn. This is probably a time when you'd like to get a little more sleep before your alarm goes off. But this cat behavior comes naturally and your feline doesn't care what time your alarm is set for. If you're serious about curbing those early wake-up calls, start by installing blackout shades or blinds in your bedroom so the sun won't rouse your cat. Then, stick to strict feeding times, once in the morning, but not right after you rise, because then they'll associate you getting out of bed with getting fed. 
and want shortly before you go to bed to delay their hunger. Number 7. Knocking things over. If you've spent any amount of time with a cat, you've likely seen them bat at something on a table until it falls off. Maybe it's a drinking glass or perhaps it's your phone. Though somewhat hilarious and perhaps maddening this is perfectly normal cat behavior. Dr. Cass says there are many theories about this, which include everything from boredom to attention seeking to hunting to simply being playful. Cats are naturally curious and are more likely to explore by touching and pushing an object with their paws, says Dr. Cass. They respond to the outcomes too. If something rolls, it may become prey running away and they will chase. If you suddenly stop what you're doing to run to your cat, there is a reward that can be tested over and over and over again. Number eight, scratching furniture. Just like you clip and file your nails, so they don't interfere with typing or other daily activities, cats must maintain their claws. Scratching, which is a deeply ingrained behavior in cats, is one way they do so. There are also some other explanations as to why cats scratch. One is that they're marking their territory. Cats have sent glands on their paws, and releasing the odor essentially allows them to mark objects as their own. Other reasons include releasing energy or excitement, and simply because scratching is fun and feels good. The best solution to keeping your cat from scratching your furniture is to give them something even better to scratch on, like a pad or cat tower. Rub it with a little catnip and give them a treat whenever they use it to encourage the behavior. You can also invest in some cat-proof furniture that actually withstands all the scratching. Number 9. Licking you. A cat will lick their humans to show care and affection. When your cat licks you, they are creating a special social bond with you, she says. This licking behavior stems from kittenhood. When a mama cat licks her kittens to groom and show affection. Number 10. Licking itself. Along with licking you, cats tend to lick themselves a lot. This is because they're self-cleaning creatures and their grooming habits are quite impressive. Cats are born with the essential grooming tools, paws, a rough, barbed tongue and saliva. This means you don't need to worry about routine baths and grooming in the same way you do for a dog. Only in rare cases do cats need a bath. Number 11. Bringing dead animals or toys. You're sitting there minding your own business. And here comes your kitty, making all sorts of weird noises and carrying an object in her mouth. If you're lucky, it's one of her favorite toys. But cats are also known to bring their humans dead bugs, rodents, and birds. Your cat may bring you a prey item such as a toy, or a mouse presenting it to you as a gift, says Dr. Mysela. This is your cat saying you are part of their pack, and they want to make sure you are well fed. Other reasons they do this could include trying to return the feeding favor for keeping their kibble bowls full, imitating what their mama cats did for them, or giving you their catch so that you can store it for later. Number 12. Meowing. Scientists have identified more than a dozen different meows that cats make, each with its own meaning in general. Kittens use meows to communicate with their moms, but grown cats employ them solely to communicate with humans. Cats also use hisses, growls, squeals, and other sounds to talk to each other. More perceptive owners can probably tell a cat I'm hungry, I'm bored, or discern I'm hurt or I'm scared. Some cat breeds are chattier than others, but if your cat goes from not that frequent to frequent talking, it could be a sign that something's off. A vet visit can help you figure out the issue. Number 12. Going outside the litter box. Cats actually prefer using litter boxes and are wired from kittenhood to cover their pee and poop. So when they do go outside the litter box, it's a sign that something isn't quite right. It may be tempting to learn how to stop your cat from peeing on the carpet altogether. But the problem will continue to persist if the underlying causes are not looked at. It could be something as simple as them not liking the location of the box or the type of litter you use. Or they may prefer it to be cleaner, just as we prefer to use a clean bathroom. Sometimes, 
A cat going outside the litter box signals a medical issue, such as a urinary tract infection UTI. Your veterinarian can take a sample of their urine to determine if there's an issue. That needs to be addressed. Behavioural issues are another common reason. Cats don't use the litter box. This might be the result of feeling territorial with other cats or not being as mentally physically stimulated as they prefer. Number 13. Eating grass. You feed your cat all the yummy kibble in the world. So what's up with it eating grass? The truth is that we don't understand it completely. The same goes for dogs eating grass. But experts have some theories. One is that they're doing it to soothe their tummy, which can help with gastrointestinal upset or even help them with hairballs. It could also be a way for them to get certain nutrients they don't have in their diet, or simply because it's a tasty snack. Number 13, rubbing. This is one of those cat behaviors that every cat parent has seen a million times, but perhaps isn't quite sure what it means. Cats often rub against objects in your home, but they'll also rub against you. What does this mean? They're marking their territory, Dr. Cass says, and that includes you. Cats have scent glands on their face that deposits unique identifying odors on the object they rub against. When they rub against you, they are affirming that you are part of their family. How cute is that? Giveaway ebook. Please click the link in the description to get it. Please like, share and subscribe and comment down.